Hi! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Ann, if it's your first time here, and welcome to my March Madness haul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I got this from Nubia's Crown. This is the Queen Lots in maroon. Um, the crochet lots. And I also got the crochet needle and coming. Got the head wrap in chocolate or brown. It's one of those. I've never worn it because I don't know how to use these things, but I thought incentive, you know? <laughs> but this is the Morphe 35S. It's literally been stalking me. Like every time I'm online, I keep seeing people um, showing it. I was never gonna get it by the way. But yeah, I saw it one too many times and I thought, why not? Isn't it pretty? Like especially like, the blues bit of me. The next group of things that I bought was um, the Chasing Butterflies palette by Makeup by Tammy, which is on the eyes today. And just comes out like that. And that is what it looks like. Yeah, I did a full video of my review, so if you wanna see that, then have a look. It's either coming or it's already on my channel. If it's there, I will link it. I also got the, from Makeup by Tammy, I got her cake liner palette, the pastel one. That's what it looks like. I intend on trying to get better at the whole eyeliner thing. Can't avoid it forever. So I also got her brushes that are made for that precise reason. So they're just like the really thin, like painter brush, if it focuses, painter brushes, that you can do like the precise liners. So hopefully I'll be coming out with these graphic liner looks like, ooh, who is she? Yes, okay. Oh, <laughs> I hope so. This is another palette that was stalking me. This is the Sample Beauty Equalizer palette, the volume two. I literally have added it to my basket so many times and taken it out. This is what it looks like. But I gave in. It's so pretty. Um, let's do old clock. Okay, hold on. These lights are too bright. Look at that. Because I haven't really planned how this video is go. I just put everything in a box. And thought, yeah, I will show everyone what I got. That's what hauls are, right? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Foundation stick from MAC, the NW55. Um, I have, I used it today, actually. Um, I used it as a spot concealer because I thought it was going to be darker than it is. But yeah, like, it's really done bits on my chin and stuff. Okay, moving on. I've got the Brush Laundrette by Spectrum. It has the microfiber towel, and it has the, it's like that, so you can put your brushes in there. It, it fits, I think, 32 brushes, and it came with a baggie for the towel, and, soap as well so this is the spectrum luxury vegan brush soap in pink grapefruit and bergamot bergamot however you say it let me know so i basically finished it so i got some more soap as well and at the top it has the scrubby thing so you can scrub your brushes in there it makes it so much quicker and um, cleaner to wash your brushes like it actually was really convenient i also got an it cosmetics confidence in a cream 
um, transforming moisturizing super cream I've wanted this forever it's just so expensive so I never got it but I finally was just like it's never going down so just get it <laughs> it's for all skin types but I've never been moisturized the way I have with this cream like it's just another level I have dry to dehydrated skin so it's definitely a must buy it's pricey but yeah it's a must buy so I got the L'Oreal infallible um 24 hour fresh wear range I got um the foundation um concealers they're supposed to all be full coverage and obviously this would be to contour so I will be possibly doing a video real soon with that also another thing I got I replaced my super coverage Too Faced um, concealer in chestnut because it's, it's running low it is and I got the matte and I also got the warm sand version of the cover super coverage found wow can't talk super coverage concealer i got that i got the matte version of the foundation and whether it's suitable on my skin dry dehydrated i replaced my morphe continuous setting mist a holy grail you need to try it if you haven't tried it i haven't tried the matte one but this one works just fine so when i was shopping at spectrum i got the pantherine palette like i have the pantherine collection like the sponges the brushes i didn't get the makeup bag but i didn't get the eyeshadow and i did want to get it it's so luxe feeling and that's what it looks like inside so it's just like a nice neutral everyday sort of palette that you can zhuzh up but it just feels like so bougie like take this to like i don't know a hotel in milan i don't know <laughs> that's what it's giving me like this would be like a staple in my makeup bag on the go i also got the mama mitchell made by mitchell liquid blusher in where's the spf i was trying out the whole um cream blush thing and i wanted to with lipstick so i wanted to actually try the product <laughs> and see if it's you know worth it so got the fenty skin range this is the cream the day cream and the cleanser the fat water which is like a serum and toner all in one and last but not least i think it's my favorite thing but i do like a good heavy duty cream the night cream i've got the makeup revolution dupe of the spectrum soap um yeah just a brush cleaner and cleaning mat so it's exactly like the spectrum one but cheaper so i got two it was two for the price of one of the spectrum so i thought why spend so much on cleaning brushes when they do the same thing let's move on to the black owned brands that i shot with this month first i'll start with september rose i got the slush 2 palette which is the matte version of the slush palette which was a holy grail of mine this is what it looks like on the inside so summertime I'm ready and I also got another palette the brew palette which is the neutral palette I've been like scoping this for so long and every time I went to get it, it was out of stock so that's what it looks like I can't wait to use it we'll go back to black owned brands in a moment so i got the doll beauty i was having a real neutral moment and this one i've got so many neutral palettes 
this is the Dolly Mixtures palette and it looks like this so this is the Zodiac Lash um, I say Vault I didn't realize I was getting this big box but yeah it has all the lashes in there for each star sign so far I have worn Leo and Virgo I have worn so far but yeah that is now on display on my windowsill oh, the one that's missing is Leo I haven't put it back in yet uh, hold on go put some stuff away and then come back next up some more black owned brands this is Jordan Tika I think that's how you say it cosmetics um i basically got like their bundle of everything they sell so includes gloss uh this is a face and sparkle which is a highlighter and a blush uh what is called face and sparkle so you put like a base down and then put the shimmer shade on top so i'm gonna do as a part of my black women owned brands i'm gonna do a full um review on how i feel about this brand can't wait to try it i got a lot and aren't these little packages cute and it came in this packaging right here it's so adorable and it had I've taken them all, most of them out, but it has all the lip liners in there and then the names at the top. I've got three lipsticks, Come to Mama, Say La Vie and Doled Out. And then I've got lip glosses, um, one in called Blood, which looks like this. Yeah, this is Honey Pot. The last but not least is Sponsored, which is in the middle of my lips today, which is this shade right here. Got this huge haul from Good Mella. This is their body syrup. I'm not going to show it yet because I have a video. Actually, how about a sneak peek? Look at that. Ah! It just makes you want to go on holiday. <laughs> One day soon, please. And it came in this box. It's so cute. Ooh. It says, Dear Tony Ann, thank you so much for supporting a small business. It means the world and also means that we can donate more to research. I hope you love your Lux bundle and body syrup. Let me know what you think. Like, that's the joys of buying from a small business. That like, is so personable. This is what inside inside the box looks like, but I am going to do a full video of first impressions of what I think of the brand, my experience with them, so that should be a part of my Black Women Owned series. This brand is called Say um, Sheer, like Sheer Butter, and I got, I was gifted their whipped sheer butter um, in vanilla is gorgeous like shay. as you can see I have been using it this is the classic brush holder and since I had washed all my brushes I put all of my favorite like my spectrum my iconic London a few miscellaneous ones are all in here so it's just better access than the bags I thought so I got two of them I hope you guys enjoyed my March Madness haul it really was a madness <laughs> chaos so let me know what things you would like to see me use on my channel first so yeah that is all for me today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time Bye. This camera better have been in focus the whole time, you know. If you saw, bye. <laughs>